Hi, I'm Bry Cox with BryCoxWorkshops.com and I have a really good question this week. And the question is, how do you make the plunge into full-time, you know, making photography your business? So it's a really good question because a lot of photographers have this question. A lot of photographers start as hobbyists, um, as like amateurs. It's something that they love. They think, man, I can do this for a living. The question is, at what point do you stop your other job and just focus just full bore into photography. So, a few things to think about. Uh, one, years ago when I started, right, you didn't just do it part-time. Hey, I just happened to like this, I'm gonna do it for a living. You literally trained, you got credentials, you went to school for it, you worked under other people, and it was something that you were serious about, and then you did it, right? And so there was a set number of professionals and everybody knew each other. Now there's like a gazillion people trying to do it for a living, which is just fine. Everybody starts somewhere and everybody gets to do what they want for a living. I have no problem with that. But there is um, a problem with knowing when to just go full time. And here's uh, some my general advice. Uh, Dave Ramsey has the same advice for any, any person trying to go full time. And that is, don't make that leap from the shore to the boat. If the boat's your new job, don't let that leap be so big that you're going to drown, right? You don't build up the side business until it comes right up to the shore where you simply can just step on, where it's not even a decision anymore. So that means working on the business end of things, not just working on uh, the photography end, but working on the photography and the business, the marketing, working on your pricing, working on everything so that you're like, hey, I am making great money over here to where I don't even need this other job. I can now focus on this, and if I were to focus on this, I could grow it even further, even bigger, and make even more from it. But what you don't want to do is have that gap where you're just not making anything, and everything starts to freak out, and you start to worry, and maybe you're married, and you got like a spouse and kids and everything to worry about. Right? The idea is to eliminate all those kind of problems and issues. And so another good way, if you're doing two things, if you got a day job and this other side job, uh, there's a guy named John Acuff has a book and he talks about uh, willpower being uh, like expended throughout the day. You wake up with a certain amount and by the end of the day it's expended. This is why I like clubs and bars and stuff are open at night and not in the mornings because it takes a certain amount of time before you're like, oh, okay, fine, I'm going to go do whatever in the, in the club. So the point is don't do your dream at the end of the day because you'll never get to it. Do your dream at the first part of the day. If that means getting up at four in the morning, then get up at four in the morning, consistently, constantly writing, marketing, doing whatever you're doing. Do that the first part of the day, then go to your day job, right? And that way, your family, your spouse will get on board. If you say, hey, guess what? You know, let's take this big plunge. They're going to be like, hey, you know what? You have been getting up at four in the morning for the last year. I'm with you on this. But if you said, you know what? I kind of have half-heartedly kind of just do this thing on the side, let's do it full-time, they're going to be like, oh, uh, no way. <laughs> so the first thing is build the business, and the second thing is put your heart into it by putting it at the first part of the day when you have the full amount of energy and willpower that you can put into it, and then go to your other job, and then uh, you know spend the rest of the day doing whatever else you need to do. So most important things first. There you go. If you have a question for me, uh, send it to me and comment, let me know what you liked about this video, maybe uh, some things that you are doing particularly to make that plunge yourself. Again, my website, brycoxworkshops, B-R-Y-C-O-X workshops.com. And until next time, America.